where big tech companies like Meta, Amazon, Apple or Google, why aren't they jumping on the bandwagon and use Databricks or Snowflake? Because as a data engineer, you might have wondered, you know, why they don't just use these unified data platforms? Because both Databricks and Snowflake, they promise, you know, to streamline your data processes. So instead of being bogged down, you know, with configurations and various setups, they offer a one-stop solution for all of your data needs. And they're different in so many ways, Databricks and Snowflake, but we can all agree that they want to provide you with this one-stop solution for your data needs. But if you're looking at the job descriptions for these tech giants, you're going to see a lot of loyalty to the Hadoop ecosystem. So what gives? Maybe it's because they've been in the game for so long that they just don't want to switch. For example, Amazon, right? They have their own analytics platform. They decided to build and not to buy. And to be honest, given Amazon's size, I think switching completely to external tools like Snowflake would be crazy expensive. And many other tech engineers say the same thing, right? Like, why would you buy if you can just build. On the other hand, right, Apple offers a slightly different approach because they collaborated with Databricks and they engaged extensively with Snowflake. They also commit heavily to open source tools and they rely on other cloud service providers because they don't offer their own cloud services. And their approach, therefore, is a lot more hybrid. But here's the main takeaway, because while big tech companies, you know, are at the top of the food chain and they pay the most money, their strategies aren't always the best for everyone because their challenges are unique, right? And their budgets are huge. And to be honest, the vast majority of businesses, even global banks, they don't really have the deep pockets or the vast engineering teams of big tech companies. So while Hadoop is very robust and very cost effective for people that actually have a lot of money and they have a lot of power when it comes to developer resources, it might not be the best thing for everyone because it comes with challenges as well, you know, from scalability to developer issues. And this makes these newer platforms like Databricks and Snowflake a lot more appealing for many other companies. So if you're looking for industry best practices in data engineering, maybe you shouldn't always look up to big tech's approach because truly I think smaller companies should try and innovate with fewer resources. You can just use a unified data platform. You can try out your use cases without actually needing to build huge engineering teams. And you're also going to save yourself a lot of money. And I think legacy software like Hadoop is still relevant because of these enterprise clients. But the future of data engineering looks very, very different for the rest of us. Because I think Databricks and Snowflake can fit your needs better if you're not FANG. Now, what do you guys think?